The state and feds on the snail hunt. No laughing matter. Super serious. These snails can kill you. And they're rapidly reproducing in the area of Douglas Park, Southwest 28th Street and Southwest 36th Street, Miami. Okay, let's get right to it. These East African snails are giant. Look at the size of these guys. Look at the collection agricultural personnel have picked up since September the 8th. And listen to this resident where snails have been found. They populate at an, an incredible rate. I mean, exponential is an understatement. They went from two to 2,000. <laughs> That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but it felt like that. There's hundreds of them, literally. And I think from the first generation, way in the back uh, yard, they're, I mean, those guys are like this big. Here we go. If you see them, don't touch them, unless you have rubber gloves. They're nasty. They eat stucco. It can do major damage to the urban landscape. It can get on the side of your house and uh, eat the stucco off your house to build a shell leave a lot of ex excrement on the side of the house. It's hard to clean up. This is all snail matter. It'll stain your walls and it's just nasty. And here's the really bad news and why you do not want to mess with these guys. The worms they carry. It will mature inside the human body and it ends up taking residence in the brain. It causes a nasty form of meningitis, which unfortunately there right now is no treatment for. That's one. And is the state and feds bag and quarantine the slimy creatures? How to kill them? That's on the front burner. Now we're in the process of determining um, which bait and which compounds can be the most effective. 